How do you highlight shit with a... How do you do anything with a fucking touchpad? You know, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you, Rich. I don't I don't know how to do it on, on the Windows. <sighs> I just don't know how to do it on the Windows. Now I can't right-click. Oh my god, this is terrible. I don't want to listen to it again. I want to listen to it again, but not right now. Where's chatty? Do I have chatty open on here? Why don't I have chatty open on here? Uh, oh, I had the the uh, it on the, on the web browser. Oh, okay. It's just in the other tab. That yeah. Works. Was there a problem with chatty on here? No. Um. They they re upped they they redid uh, how the dashboard works. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to test that out. I forgetting. Uh, okay. Forgetting that you were. Ooh, hello. Uh, forgetting that you were uh, the one who was... Uh, it's all fine. It's all fine. To, no, I don't want to do that. Great. I forgot that you were going to be the one having the laptop today, so... I was like, oh, I want to check out the new... We, we got an upgraded, uh, up, updated dashboard, uh, which might give us some more controls right out of the box instead of having to go through third-party software chatty, even though we like chatty a lot and use it. Okay. So... Do, 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 do. You, know, you just stand there and hit the button. That's you know, this I'm not saying I'm not saying this is a hard challenge. That's why I chose this one because I, I kind of <laughs> knew it was easy. Like, you what do you think one that was easy? You already kicked the game's butt uh, on stream. Starting off light. Starting off light. You're not starting off. You're ending light. Hey, you're ending. You're light. ending. I was a badass. Now I'm just gonna be an even bigger badass. Yeah, that's 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 you're just showing off, Jack. You're showing off, motherfucker! Yeah, yeah. D uh, deal with it? <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> the appropriate response. <laughs> Renegade Kira says, Jack, ah. thanks for the great year of pre-rec. Great episodes and streams throughout the year really help keep my sanity in check. Keep up the great work. Oh, and Rich is cool too, I guess. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rich is cool too. I agree. I agree. I, you know, I, I think we did some fine episodes this year. I'm pretty happy with a lot of them. Uh, uh, ups upsetting that uh, the, the one that I wanted to to get done that is just not going to happen due to time is our, our year in review. I was really hoping we'd get a year in review. And it's just, I mean... That'll be fine. Just, oh, I, and we've never done one before, but uh, there were some games that I particularly wanted to talk about. We, we could still do one. Huh? We could still do one. Just have it come out next year? Because we have it come out in February. Who gives a fuck? A best of... Yeah, I guess. Best of the last 12 months! Best of the last 13 months! <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Such, I so fucking arbitrary. Arbitrary. Well, you know, you that's it's just when people do end of the year stuff. Is at the end of the year. The sun. Ooh, we have king room. How about just February in review? Just February. All the all February? all of February. Okay, I like it. Zach is whack. Says Jack. Yep. Here's some dollar to go duplicate your keys and make both you and your wife happy. Duplicate Chat my keys? Yeah. Chat plus future YouTube people. For context, see the August 24th Rocket League stream and their ReCore stream. You're clever enough to sneak through Africa, but won't be smart about this? You're too nice a man to be so stubborn about this anyways. Everything else is fine. Merry Christmas, you nuts! Oh, I, I'm. Th what I'm thinking that is is someone asked. Uh, someone asked us uh, things we didn't like about our significant others, uh -huh. and I made an offhanded comment that was like, "Oh, sometimes Lisa doesn't return the car keys to, ah. the, special, to the special key area, which yeah. is a very minor gripe, right? That I have about her. It's like we have a special, a whole little special key thing." Right. And she often does not return it to the key area. And so there, that's money to get keys duplicated. 
so we no longer have to fight about keys, which we don't fight about. Hello. Nice. Nice. Can we, can we do our own game awards? Somebody in the chat's mentioning that. It's not a bad idea. Our own game awards? Our own game awards, Jack. So we, just so we can have, like, uh, Last Guardian be worst game of the year. <laughs> but Uncharted 4 also came out last year. Oh, oh, Think about oh my that. God. Think about that. Oh, my God. We'll have the nominees for worst game. It'll be those. When was the... The Last of Us remastered. That was years ago. Remastered. That wasn't this year. That was like multiple years ago, right? The yeah. Re the remastered one. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I have. No, I don't. I don't clearly recollect when that came out. I have so many, so so much to go around. We, I mean, I and but according to YouTube comments, Rich, we were pretty wrong about uh, the Last Guardian. You know, we no, got, we weren't. We got it wrong. We, I think, we missed a lot of nuance in the Last Guardian. Don't you think? They kept bitching about story comments, paying no attention to our primary gripe, which was gameplay being dull. Yeah. Because that doesn't matter to these people. They had their art. Their art cannot be besmirched. That's true. That's true. You didn't understand the story. No, I understood. I just didn't give a shit. Yeah, oh, we perfectly understood the story. Didn't understand it. That's why you didn't like it. Because it's... Just, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Go back to the arcade. <laughs> Probably like games like Mario. As if there was something wrong with that, even if we only like Mario games. Right. As if, as if that was somehow wrong. Of course. What a bunch of jackasses. Sometimes. Sometimes, man. Sometimes sometimes people are dicks. You only like Call of Duty. That was a comment I read. Because <gasps> we, you know how much we gush about Call of Duty? All, like all the time. Especially yeah. me and the yeah. multiplayer shooters. Yep, yep. Why do you assume that people who don't enjoy uh, don't enjoy? Oh God damn it, chat! You're always scrolling past what I can read. Stop scrolling! I can't see that comment ever. Unless I'm reading it wrong. I'm assuming they they don't enjoy non-story based games because they put down gamey games like Doom and 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 Mario. Right. It's not sophisticated enough for their superior tastes. I I think I believe that's the gist of it. Yeah. And I I could be reading it wrong because like I said that your comment scrolled up further than I could read it. When I was in the middle of reading, well, that's it. What, how, those people, those kind of people who make those comments in general. That's how. That's what I feel like. Is, yeah. Oh, no, this, this. You can only drink wine <laughs> that is that is aged thirty years. Right. Right. How dare you drink a wine that's only aged five years? Go, go fuck yourself, you you prick. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, there's some there's some high level snobbery. Uh, I feel. Rich has trouble with technology. No, the chat I'm reading is being used by Jack. He's he's we got two monitors, and I can't scroll up without turning the game off. Right, and this I I messed up and. Yeah, that's all right. It's all right. I messed up. Do, 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 do. Doesn't like Star Wars, doesn't like The Last Guardian, doesn't like Batman versus Superman. Yep. 
The last two, yes. Star Wars, I'm just not in love with. Star Wars is okay. The original trilogy is great. Empire Strikes Back, one of the best movies ever fucking made. Han Solo, love Han Solo. Didn't care much for the prequels. What you didn't? Didn't didn't care much for the the what do they call it? The expanded universe, or, right? Yeah, yeah, all the books and shit. All the books and shit. Yeah. Hey, you did it. Shadix twenty says, slowly encroaching on one million views. Any big plans or just winging it as usual? Uh, just winging it. You know, just winging it. Winging what? I don't know. Big plans for a million views? I'm more excited if it were a million individuals, not like accumulated views, you know? <laughs> sure. Because yeah. we've been doing it like three years now? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that shit adds no, up. But, I mean, we're, we're, we're rolling our beefcake, you know, just mentioned. Like, you know, we're, we're up to... 60,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's that's not bad at all. We have something like over 20,000 subscribers here on Twitch. We're doing all... I'm not not complaining about oh, how we're doing. Right. I'm not complaining. I'm just we saying... Have, we have over 11 million views... Yeah. ...on our YouTube channel. We, we got some We got some stuff. What's it 11, 11 million on YouTube? Yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's pitch black. It's just Curse of the Darkness. Every level. Now, if you asked me, I would have thought that one million was just our views on YouTube. Like, our, our highest viewed video is still the um, Force Awakens discussion, isn't it? <laughs> it might be. It might be. Uh, <clears throat> no, or yeah, actually, maybe. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, maybe that is our highest view, or that, or the, I think the order was still up there. That and uh, uh, Metal Gear did pretty well. Doom did pretty well. <laughs> well, you know, there's we got some that do well, some that don't. So this is a different challenge. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is. The pitch black challenge, and I believe the challenge is I'm cursed. Uh, I have the curse of darkness every room, so I don't know how much health I currently have. Ah, and uh, I think I also don't know. Yep, oh no, I, I know what items I'll get. Four, oh, okay, that's a nice one. So I think I never know how much health I have. Is the is the okay challenge? For and this. and the screen looks a little darker, uh, or is that just I, me? That just could be the fire in here. I don't know. We're in a fire room at the moment. As I mean, you can probably tell. Yeah. Insulin King 2016 says, Yo. Want to send a bad Christian movie. It's one of the funniest, worst vids I've seen. Its ridiculousness is based in religious morals, however. Would you avoid a movie that forced you to go into that? Just wondering. We try to avoid the Christian film stuff if the only joking around is going to be ha-ha Christians. We, we have no interest in doing that. Yeah, yeah. We like need... the SOS video that had some that had, that was a, its own special kind of insane. Yeah, that had weird foreign stuff. That had yeah. music. That had cheesy production value. Like there was stuff it had to talk about. Culty there. kind of religious stuff. Right. Where you were going to live in the woods and not shop at supermarkets. Exactly. There were, there was stuff we could delve into that wasn't just ha ah, Jesus. Right. Oh, I'm gonna die. So, so that's the big determining determining factor with any sort of religious bad movies. What what are the jokes we can? We'll, we'll make fun of production values, but if if the thrust of it is the things they say they're Christian and that's stupid, ah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Right, not gonna do that unless it's crazy. Really? Really? I'm full of hearts? Alright. Rich, you say you care about gameplay only, yet you said before that you don't care to play games with anime writing, so... 
uh, why would that matter to you if the gameplay was kick-ass despite bad writing? It would affect my just shopping and and looking at it, like not knowing much. Mm -hmm. It would be affected like, eh, and I understood. Sure, but in that, but perhaps maybe there's an example of something you've talked about before that maybe had anime type writing but kick-ass gameplay that you've really enjoyed. This has happened. I well, I'm, with Zone of, Zone of the Enders. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah you've, talked, you've talked about that before. <laughs> You could you could you could argue no more heroes. I'd say that that's got more of a punk sensibility than an anime sensibility. It's got anime sensibilities, but it's an all in like done in parody. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm sure they're talking about Final Fantasy. Oh. I historically have not liked JRPGs. Yeah. I know the gameplay is different now. That doesn't mean I'm excited to run out and give it a try. You gotta do more. You gotta really sell me on the gameplay. If you want me to get excited about that shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, and it looks weird. It just looks weird. Because if the story is a bunch of anime shit I don't care about, then the gameplay has to be really good. Right. And right. I am just judging it as a game at that point. A game that you have to sometimes not listen to when it's <laughs> telling its anime story. Like, like Metal Gear Solid Five. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man, that was wacky. Which, you know what? Probably would have liked a lot more if if I cared about what was going on. Story can help you enjoy a game. Like I said, I don't I don't hate the concept of having a story in a game, but you need the, the game needs to come first. There needs to be a, a game that the story is built around. Yeah. Yeah. And some good story, good storytelling, good atmosphere. They, mm -hmm. they can heighten an already existing decent game. Oh, you no, know, and you know, like... The, they they can not only heighten it, but uh, you know the theming of the gameplay can enhance that story. Much like you know something like Shadow of the Colossus, yeah, where you know it's it's all about defeating your demons. Are you the real monster? <laughs> dealing, you know, like dealing with the the grief uh, and loss of someone, and and it kind of mirrors in the gameplay. That's what made Shadow of the Colossus like that go-to art house game. Is it was this combination of gameplay and a, th a strong theme. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, it just didn't happen with The Last of Us. But one. when you when you when you throw something out there that's that's just a storytelling art house tour de force, and there's no interesting gameplay, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. Then, then you've chosen the wrong medium. Yeah. To tell your story. Yes, exactly, exactly. Maybe you know, like Rich said, draw a pin picture, make a movie. Uh, you know what? Uh, make a GIF. GIFs are really popular right now. Oh, interesting. I don't know what that is, but I kind of want it, so I'm gonna take it. Multi-dimensional baby. Talking about Soma, unlike Rich, who hates everything. Oh, blow it out your ass, Dots. Blow it out your butt. You had that nice poem. Now, I'm sure you're saying that in jest. And I'm saying blow it out your ass in jest. But my official stance on Soma <laughs> was, what about a great book? Great fucking book. It did not need to be a game. did not work as a game. Because it wasn't a game. Not in any real way. Soma? Yeah. Yeah, no. That was some concepts I found very interesting. Yeah, yeah, I agreed. That that would have been a great book. I would have read the shit out of Soma. Totally, totally. Right. Like I love that kind of weird, heady, like not heady sci-fi, but like abstract sci-fi. Mm -hmm. I would have been totally down with Soma as a book. And by the way, if you want to know what the anime tropes I don't like are, Metal Gear. Everything that Metal Gear does. <laughs> See Metal Gear. See Metal Gear. Yeah. yeah. Heck you. Fuck you. Holy fuck. Rich, holy fuck. You can't switch media is that easy. Who even said that you can turn Soma into a book or movie? 
Why couldn't you? There's no game there. Why is it a game? The game is the wrong medium. In the, in the first fucking place. <laughs> this, is, I, this is kind of the, the problem. Is, is like... <laughs> it's not interactive. It's pretend interactive. Anything storytelling wise, it's just fucking you're in a straight linear line. The interaction is a fiction. Yeah, yeah. You can turn you can turn anything into a, a, a any medium that you want, man. Like, get with it, get with it. So you you can never turn any books into a movie. No, you can't do that. Not, I mean, not after the fact. Like, like the Harry Potter movies. No. Oh, <laughs> those don't. They exist. can't do that. They can't do that. That does. It just doesn't work. No, 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 man. The thing. And certainly, you couldn't make books out of a movie. The thing was was written to be a novella. Absolutely, should never have been turned into a kick-ass John Carpenter movie. And like Star Wars, those are movies. It's not like you could ever turn those into an entire expanded universe worth of books. <laughs> Rich Evans. <laughs> we might be getting into mean territory here. Banter is going in the right direction, guys. Rich Evans' outrage is building up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yep. I'm understanding what the multidimensional baby does now. So how exactly is Soma not a game? Well, you, you walk forward, and then you don't do much other than watch the story play out. Right. There's there's no really way to fail. There's the tacked on hide and go seek sections that really aren't interesting to play. No. Yeah, there's no there's no hurdle to cross over. Which is kind of the point of a game. I'm kind of digging this multi-dimensional baby. He, he, he kind of goes after you, and if you can shoot a tear through him, your tears become more powerful. But. Chicken McButtock says, how much? <laughs> Sorry? It's Chicken. fine. No, you, you, that's a great reaction. Chicken Jack. McButtocks. And I should, have, I should have left time for the reaction. Oh. Chicken McButtocks says, aye, aye, aye. how much would it cost to get you guys to star in a commercial for my furniture store? Uh, How much would it cost? This price. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, well, for, first of all, like you, you gotta, you know, fly us out to wherever you are. You gotta pay for those expenses. You gotta pay for those expenses. Uh, furniture commercial. We're we talking local, national, inter uh, So local, national, or internet? Is this televised or internet? Because those are two different prices. Um, Leftover beefcake says nine ninety eight. No, we do. so we're talking. We're talking like a half day shoot, Rich. Half day shoot. I don't know. I need a fucking agent to tell you a price. Appar I'm your agent. I've booked you gigs I've, before. I've never actually been an actor, so contact us at prereq at redlettermedia.com. I will give you our prices. I've booked uh, gigs for Rich before. I'll make it happen. Crocodile Brain says, guys. I ended up ordering Final Fantasy 15, having not played one since Final Fantasy 4 on SNES. Yeah. They supposedly got rid of the turn-based crap, so it's more akin to Skyrim. What Final Fantasy have you played and enjoyed? None of them. I, I My sister was really into Final Fantasy, and I, I watched her play occasionally, and oh god, they just look boring as shit. So I don't have much experience in Final Fantasy in 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 general, but I, I you know back in the day I tried a few like you know just as a rental see what it was like tried a few of them sure sure them old SNES era JRPGs and God is it just fucking the worst fucking thing so. that that you walk like a tile and boom, you go into the boring ass battle screen so you can spam boringly the 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 strategy the tactical strategy over you just. Hit the efficient attack button over and okay, uh, and you see turkeys whacking each other, and then it takes like forever, and then eventually the other thing dies. Mm -hmm. No, oh, that's good. I can finally go on with the story. And then you go two squares, and then boom, and then you fight more bats. 
It's the worst thing. It's the worst thing ever. But they don't do that now. All right. I'm sure it's different now, and it's perfectly great, and it's awesome. I, I've, I've played a few of them. I've, so I played a... Uh, I played seven because you know, like that was supposed to be like the the like the super important deep one, uh -huh. uh, and did just didn't give a shit about it. Uh, I couldn't couldn't make it through. Uh, a lot of that was because of the story. Fuck 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 fuck. fuck. Uh, the story is batshit insane, and I didn't much care for it. Ooh, hello and damage up. Uh, I played a bit of ten. Final Fantasy X, uh, which was all right in some areas. Uh, looked really great. The cutscenes looked beautiful. Uh, again, couldn't... My, my issue with the Final Fantasy series has always been the ending. Like, there always seems to be a big ramp-up curve as far as the final boss is concerned. Mm -hmm. And so there, there was a lot of grinding for me of just, like, I can't get past this area because the enemies are too strong. I guess I, I guess I have to go back to the weaker area and just deal with some enemies until I get a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, and I never much cared for the grind in the Final Fantasy series. Uh, I think I tried to play a little bit of 8, I want to say. What was the one with, like, uh, the more cartoonish figures? Might have been 6. 6 or 8. It was a PlayStation game, and it and it had more of the cartoonish figures on the. I'm asking the chat. Yeah. Uh, like 3D cartoonish or 2D sprite cartoonish. Uh, 3D cartoonish. Okay. Final Fantasy. Oh, that was nine. Okay, Final Fantasy nine. Uh, I was all right with it. Uh, didn't get too far in it. Combat, you know, combat is rough in these games. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Shit, not paying attention. Not paying attention. Lust might get me. Fuck you, Lust. Infestation. I don't know what that means. Insolent King 2016 says, Would you go out of your way to watch a movie featuring a long graphic love scene between Joan and John Cusack? Lots of kissing. I asked my residency director this question and was immediately hired. Would you would you be interested in seeing that in a movie? Would you be interested in seeing like a really weird car accident? Man, I don't you know, I don't have an answer for you here cuz because I don't have an answer for you here. That that's the strangest question I think I've ever heard. Uh, would I go out of my way? Probably not. Could have said the same thing about Jason and Justine um, Bateman back in the day. Sure. She but, hasn't done anything in ages. But I think is the question current John and Joan Cusack? Because that would be even no, weird. probably not even current. Probably have to go back a few years. Go back to their heyday. Sure. Uh, oh man, I don't know. That's a that's a tricky one. That would be so weird. I. You know what? If it's current, maybe, because that would just be weird. What does the rainbow do? Uh, the rainbow poop uh, fills uh, gives you full hearts. Oh, okay. I still don't know how many hearts I have. But you know they're full. But I know I have full hearts, and so I think at this point I have like three. But I, I just don't know. I just don't know, because that's the game. Eh. Typical PYC says, if you could live in a movie, which movie would you live in? I don't know. <laughs> how, about, how about what dreams may come? Oh. How about that? I mean, that's an acceptable answer. Playing the long game, Jack. You want to live in a movie in which you know there is an afterlife. In which you know there is, a, there is an absolute paradise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all right. That's fair. That's a, you know what, Rich? That is a fair answer. <laughs> Mr. 
Shadix20 says, In Soma, the illusion of choice is very poorly disguised. Ergo, it stops feeling like you're in a sci-fi world as much as you're on an on-rail carnival ride in a sci-fi world. Ooh, Insert Mike and Kurt. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, it's a, a carnival ride. That's a that's a good that's a good uh, analogy. It's fake. There's no it's game. A, so like one one kind of like vague choice where you can choose to kill or not kill one of the robots. Yeah. After you download your memory into a different body. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't really change all that much. It's largely an illusion of some kind of choice. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Someone would work quite well as a story, as a movie, as a book. It'd be a, I think it'd be a great book. Yeah. Boink. I think, I think uh, Soma would be a fantastic read. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of abstract ideas in there that I don't think would translate so necessarily well to screen but you know uh, obviously with the right script anything can work uh, but yeah I'd, a Soma book that'd be yeah I've, I've largely Chad I've largely avoided Telltale Games for reasons that should be obvious no why it's so weird it's so weird Rich you, I, there's one, there's some that I know you would love. When I when I first heard about the Walking Dead game, oh, that sounded neat. Oh, you're making these choices, and then I kind of realized, oh, these choices probably aren't going to amount to much. Mm -hmm. It's going to be largely a smoke and mirrors. And then I I kind of lost interest after after I heard reports basically verifying my fears. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Boop. Fuck you. Mega fatty. Turkey Burger says, Turkey Burger 2 says, oh, Rich and... No. It's a sequel to Turkey Burger. <laughs> Rich and Jack. Yep. What's the best way to keep a camera dry and clean during a shoot involving squibs and other projectile fluids? Obviously, you can put plastic around the camera body, but the lens, plexiglass, right? Uh, yeah. Plexiglass is, uh, if, if you're worried about harming your lens, plexiglass is the way to go. Or regular glass, if you, if you can't get your hands on plexiglass. But you can. Any, you know what? Any hardware store will sell a tiny little plexiglass that you can hold in front of your lens. Get it as close to your lens as possible so you don't accidentally end up focusing on the plexiglass. Now, are there problems with the reflection? Well, that's why you get Blair. it as close to the lens yeah. as possible. And, you know, like you sometimes have to tilt it the right way. Going Shooting through plexiglass means that your shot is not going to be as crisp as you would like it to be. Because, obviously, you are shooting through another layer. But you are protecting your camera. But you are protecting your camera. Uh, the other option is you get your camera a little further away and zoom in. Easy peasy. <laughs> Uh, and you know what? Here's the third option. A really fantastic option for uh, protecting your lens. Uh, depending on your lens, like for, for example, for, uh, for our Panasonic cameras, we use, uh, uh, it's, it's like an interchangeable lens system. And so, you know, we have some nice lenses. And for our lenses, you can buy things that are UV filters. And they're very thin pieces of glass that you screw on top of your lens that are supposed to protect it against sun damage. But it's very close to the lens, and it's a very clean piece of glass, and they cost like eight bucks, and it screws right onto your lens. Mm -hmm. Get a couple of those. Because then if, if like something hits your lens, it's going to hit the UV filter and not the expensive glass on the lens. Okay. That's what I use. Okay. So that's the real key. Now the chat is asking me about Western RPGs. What's a Western RPG? Different stylistically. No, I mean, uh, so, sorry. What's an example? Of a if you don't like you don't you, you you don't like the illusion of choice game, but you don't like Western RPGs. I just haven't. For one, I just haven't played many of them. For another thing, when it comes to RPGs, I know they're different now. I know they're different now. I I never like the your classical style of turn-based combat right. in RPGs. Right. I just, I've just never been fond of that style of combat. You know they're different now, right? Yeah, yeah, I know they're different now. Just wanted to make sure. Oh my god! Oh <laughs> so my you knew god. they were different now. You know, like, you know, I like Dragon's Dogma. 
Yeah, he did like Dragon's yeah. Dogma. That and yeah. man, that was like was like a super RPG. Yeah, yeah. And you commented on how much you liked. Uh, and I know your ability to tell you know your own story. I remember that. I remember that. I like Dragon's Dogma too. I I love Mass Effect before you know they ruined it. Is that a Western RPG? Yeah, oh, very right. much so. There you go. Well, shit. Well, shit, Rich. It sounds like you kind of dig RPGs. <laughs> Have I got have I got a game to suggest to you? Diablo Diablo isn't that the one though where you just spam the click button? That just seems like obnoxious I thought, I thought combat. That was like a hack and slashy. I think it's a hack and slashy, but it's just like mashing the the whack button. Yeah, it, that sounds kind of dull. Yeah, not hack and slash. That sounds like a really dull brawler. There's a oh brawler that's the name for yeah it, not hack and slash brawl yeah that's a brawler like I, I I didn't play it much I only played it that one time we streamed it I could not stand uh, Dynasty Warriors <laughs> yeah I could see that massive amounts of enemies and you just spam the, the attack over and over and over right and obviously we were playing an older Dynasty Warriors yeah fuck you but uh, I know the the new ones are very similar so it's rich ever said what he thinks of. Val Valkyria Chronicles because I've played every game you have, in yeah. existence and I've had the time to play every game that's ever been made in depth I know that about you and it's not like I've wanted to play the games I liked a lot because uh -huh. I have to keep constantly jumping around to play all the games that's that's the rough part of playing all the games <laughs> that's the really rough part of playing and that games. means I didn't like it when I didn't play it it means I hated it and not that I just never got around to it, didn't have much, didn't ever really heard about it. This is a bad it idea. means I hated it. Oh, man, I made a really bad call. I did a really bad thing, Rich. Oh, I made a really dumb move. Fast enough. No, oh, move. Expensa, if that's your definition of role playing game, then the definition is way too vague to mean anything. And the, the term RPG becomes meaningless. It says RPG is defined as a game where you take on a role. So it's 99% of all games. That's 99%. So at, at that point, the word is useless. I remember having this discussion with a friend of mine way back in the day and saying that, like, then then a game like Madden in coach mode would be the greatest RPG mm -hmm. where you can, like, build your team and, you know, you can, you know, stuff like that. Those are RPGs. What does this do, chat? I make a circle and I get a little pentagram. Does that make me stronger in the pentagram? What is, what's, ha what's happening here? Why is, uh, why is this happening? And I, would, I want you to tell me. I, li I like it. I like that I can draw little pentagrams in my circles. Can I draw a big pentagram? Oh, I can. Look at that. Draw a big-ass pentagram. Does that hurt people? I don't know. Rich, you are weird. You love XCOM turn-based, but you don't like turn-based combat and RPGs. I don't like it when you stand on either side of the screen and you just take turns whacking at each other. I like XCOM because your, your positioning is important and you're trying to manipulate the percentages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that's 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 a lot deeper to me than you've got the strong attack that's got a ninety five percent hit chance, but then you got the super strong attack, but that's only got an eighty percent chance to hit. And then you pick one of them, whatever one is, seems more effective, and you just use it over and over again. And then the other guy on the other screen, he takes turns whacking you, and you just keep whacking each other back and forth until one of them dies. That sucks. Oh, that hurts them. That's great. That's great. In XCOM, when I'm thinking, well, you know, do I flank here or do I use a grenade to strip the cover? But I might want that grenade later. Sure. Or, ooh, sure. if I can manage to take its health down without killing it, maybe I can go in for the different multiple things are going on. It's a lot deeper than hit the 95% attack button over and over again until the thing is dead.
So yes, I hate your old school RPG turn-based combat because it's boring. That's not what JRPG combat's about. It's about um, exploiting the weaknesses of... It's about grinding! It's a lot of grinding. And, and hey, everyone, you need to be honest here. There's a lot of grinding. And that doesn't necessarily have to, anything to do with the combat. That it might have something to do with just general enemy design, level layout, difficulty curves, but they're, JRPGs have a lot of grinding. Unnecessary grinding. <laughs> I am sure glad we're having this JRPG conversation again. Blame the fuckers in the chat who keep getting a butt hurt that I don't like JRPGs. And they do, and that's great. But I don't like them, and so I am the great Satan who doesn't get it. I've, I've been meaning to, to tell you right And someday, the if they the great bitch at me endlessly about JRPGs enough, mm -hmm. I will love them. You'll see the light. Oh, God. You will see the light, Rich. I believe in you. I am now rescinding my $998 Final Fantasy offer. It's, really? It's off the fucking table. It's rescinded. Are you replacing it with a different... No, no I'm not. You're just I'm, not? I'm, I am 100% done with this conversation. You're just not going to play Final Fantasy. Because it happens every fucking stream. Right. And if you're a JRPG fan, please go fuck yourself and stop bothering me about it. Hmm. You know, that's fair, Rich. I think that's fair. That's fair. Do do what you do, man. You do you. Tits eighty four says, Rich, it's been about a year now. What's your go to choice out of the XCOMs? I think I like XCOM two more. Yeah. It's been a while since I've played XCOM 2 because I'm, I've gotten I've gotten myself restuck on XCOM um, Enemy Within. Okay. Because I've 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 got an enemy now that I want to finally do a like a, a command uh, a, a, a classic run where I don't lose a fucking soldier, and I can't get past month three because of the fucking thin men, sure. and I I hate it and I love it, and I'm gonna get tired of trying soon, and I'm gonna go back to XCOM 2. Yeah, yeah. But for now I am. Like when I my solo stream, yeah, I I plan to, to to fire up XCOM Enemy Within, and I'm trying to not lose a single fucking person. Nice, nice. I think I think ultimately XCOM uh, Enemy Within. Even though when I first started playing XCOM Two, I was getting my ass kicked. Uh huh. I I think ultimately XCOM One is is harder. Not one, Enemy Within the reboot is a lot harder. Interesting. Yeah. Fucking hell, these circles have to be just the right size. Fuck! Oof. That was tough. If you all notice, they only read one out of every 100 messages. The whole chat. Well, for one, the stream would be a day long. Because we we'd have to go... Every single... Do you see how fast this shit scrolls? It's hard. I, it's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up, man. It's hard to keep up. We're and we're sorry. You know, we try. We try to, to you know, we read the tips, we read the chat, we we like interacting with you guys, but sometimes it's hard to keep up and we're really sorry about that. And you know what? Sometimes y'all don't say anything interesting. Yep. Enemy within is not harder because of bullshit cheap moves. Enemy within is harder because at least that early game mm -hmm. is is designed to actually try to defeat you and not just to be uh, like Thin men aren't pawns that you can just roll over and feel powerful. They're a threat that you have to worry about and plan your way around when they show up, and it's great. And occasionally it's traumatizing, but it's great. Shadix20 says, Let's go to something more positive. Brutal Doom 64 is a thing. Have you played it yet? Looks at the very least like a new set of maps for Brutal Doom. I might, you know, I might play it sooner or later. I, I'll be honest with you. I, I just, it's, it's superficial. I just flat out don't like the look of the sprites from Doom sixty four. I, I love those classic sprites. And uh, that's that's um, 
that's a value judgment. That's uh, subjective. That's just the way I feel about the Doom 64 sprites. You have to pay for Rich Evans to read your comment. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Weird. I do look over and occasionally read things. I can't help that we get a lot of tips. And you know what? Yeah. People who give the tips, they help us, they help us do these streams. The show. Like, this is the whole reason that we are able to... So I the read show. their comments. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. You should be. Renegade Kira, who, who tipped us, <laughs> says, Rich, yeah. here's $2. Talk about how awesome the spectacular Spider-Man show is and how shitty the ultimate Ultimate Spider-Man was. Uh, I fucking sorry. hate Drake Bell, Ultimate Spider-Man voice actor, and hope he dies. For one, I am just not familiar at all with the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. Oh, okay. it, it looks a bit silly for my taste, but Spectacular Spider-Man? Oh, I wish they kept making that. Is the shit. Spectacular Spider-Man is to Spider-Man as Batman the Animated Series was to Batman. Oh. Spectacular was fucking great. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. I uh, I don't think I cut Spectacular. Or maybe I, maybe I did. Maybe they, I think we talked about this. Or it's like I cut that one episode, that Rhino episode. But They, they did it. They actually did an animated adaptation of like the, the Master Planner story, mm -hmm. which is one of my favorite old school Spider-Man stories. It's when he's in the Doc Ock's underground base and he gets trapped under this heavy piece of equipment and he can't lift it up and it's filling with water. Mm. And Steve Ditko did like the most amazing art Steve Ditko ever did. It's like three, it's, you know, a Stanley eventually added a bunch of bullshit dialogue to it. But I mean, it just stands alone, just the visual, <laughs> as a, just visual storytelling where he's under this weight, he's trying to get up and he can't do it. But then he thinks about Aunt May and all the people who depend on him and he musters up the strength and he finally gets, it's like my, one of my favorite fucking Spider-Man moments. Because when he lifts that thing up, is the only time I can think of that Steve Ditko ever drew like a muscular heroic Spider-Man. He was very, he was always drawing him like a like a scrawny teenage kid before that. But that was like that was like the big Spider-Man's becoming an adult moment oh, when he lifts okay. the weight up. And it was like the one time Steve Ditko ever drew him heroic. I love that moment, and they did that on Spectacular Spider-Man. Hmm. I'm a geek. You should be. I'm no, a geek. That's fine. I think that's fair. Uh, it sounds great. So that was two dollars well spent to get me to talk about Spectacular Spider-Man. No, and you know, I I thought Ultimate had a lot of fun. Uh, Rich probably wouldn't like the little goofy anime-ish stuff that they do. Because uh, they, you know, like there, there's a lot of like random weirdo cutaways and like you know big eye big mouth stuff. But I enjoy that stuff. I thought I thought they brought a lot of humor to it. Mm -hmm. I liked the whole team aspect. Uh, you know, there's some Power Man in there and uh, Iron Fist and Nova. Uh, that was neat. Uh, late Later on in the series, the animation got really shitty. They must have gotten their budget cut. And the story got out of control. For which one, Ultimate? For Ultimate, yep. The story got absolute goddamn out of control. Uh, and and their, the animation got shit shit. And the, that episode with Deadpool, whoever decided to do that Deadpool voice, needs to stop doing voice work. Because it was awful. Chad, don't worry about it. I'm just not addressing that bullshit anymore. Great. I'm done with JRPG talk. Boom. Like, forever. Boom. Boom, that's great. That's great, Rich. Chibi style, is that what it's called? No idea. Can you tell a funny, weird story from high school? Ditko isn't, says Lurdiak, Ditko isn't crazy. He just has strong and strange principles. Now, Dave Sim, he's fucking crazy. You could argue they both have uh, strong principles. You could. What, what are the strong, uh, who, 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 what? Ditko's like a famous reclusive uh, and Randian conservative hermit. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, funny. Yeah, somebody... Somebody talked to him about Doctor Strange once and about how they loved all the strange worlds, and he, he expressed regret that he thought it might have caused some teens to use, like, LSD. I was like, that's not what I was trying to do. It's not what I wanted. So Steve Ditko regretted Doctor Strange because of the LSD. 
That's Steve Ditko in a nutshell. Oh, that's kind of, that's a little sad. You know what? It's a little sad. Dave Sim, I I don't know much about uh, his his craziness. I just know that Cerebus became very very boring when it turned into like twenty five issues of Cerebus just hanging out in a bar. Sure. That's all I really know about Dave Sim. <laughs> you wanted to Fem oh. Feminism, this or that, and then, and then the book became obsessed with that. Oh, did it? Yeah. No. Yeah. I think we've talked about Cerebus once or twice before. It, it crossed the line. It rode the line for a while between crazy and genius, and then eventually it just went full-on crazy. <laughs> uh, you know, that happens. That happens sometimes. Maybe it was always crazy, but you, you know, we were just waiting for the, uh, for the brilliance to drop, and it never did. Did I get the NES Classic? No, because I have a computer. Read into that what you will. Have you heard? Uh, and I, I this is I, I cannot confirm this, but I have read that the NES Classic mm -hmm. uh, has already outsold the Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> not at all surprised. I have read this. What's the upside down cross do? This is a tough one. This is a tough one right here, Rich. Upside go big down. or go home. Go big or go home. All right, let's go. Let's do it. All right. That was big. I just, you know what I just did, Rich? I went big. Might have been a really terrible idea. But Rich told me to go big or go home, so. Read, he steals his games. You know, I also have a... Um, they're, they're, I don't have the NES, the old NES hooked up anymore. I still do have it. I do have a crate full of old games. Mm -hmm. So if I were to hypothetically have a digital copy of them on my PC, I wouldn't feel much guilt about it. Still, uh, yeah, yeah. Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? How about that? Yeah. God damn it. P. Number one. GP one says, "Sup, boys? Here's the nine ninety six for a Final Fantasy stream. Can't afford more. Guess we'll just have to settle for one spectacular stream of Final Fantasy two. LOL." R my PG. Nice try. $9 nice try. $9.96. And that offer is now permanently off the table because I'm done having the constant JRPG discussion yeah. about how I am wrong for not liking JRPGs. You've I'm had, tired of it. You've had that discussion a lot. Yeah. I don't know what this is, but I want it. I'm going to try it out. Whoa. Uh, I've played a little bit of Jagged Alliance. The The new XCOM has, like, ruined me for any other currently existing uh, tactical game. <laughs> yeah, you find the one you like. Yeah. Right? Like, even um, Hard West, which copies a lot mm -hmm. from the, the, the newer XCOM, I just can't get into. Partially it's because the enemies aren't as interesting, and in part I because... Say, yeah, there, I think there was other issues there. I, I, I enjoy the, the, the characters you make yourself in XCOM more than the mm -hmm. canned ones they kind of threw at you in Hard West. I want that too. Shit. We need a room with a ton of enemies. That's what we need right now. Room with a ton of enemies. How about this one? Oh, yes. This one will do fine. There we go. That one will do fine. Any thoughts oh. on Dead Rising 4? Rich, any thoughts on Dead Rising 4? Uh, yes, I'm going to play it soon. Yeah. 
Uh, I can't stand the fact that they took out the timer. What makes Dead Rising 1 work is that fucking amazing timer that you can't, you're not really supposed to do everything in one run, not, at least not your first time through. And that perfecting that is just a science. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dead Rising 1 was a, just a wonderful puzzle that I, I had many runs through that game just trying to work out how to do it all. And when I when I did my no death run, I did not like do a walkthrough or watch a walkthrough. I did not watch YouTube videos. That was my own route from years of playing that fucking game. And I was adjusting it as I tried the the different no death runs. Well, maybe maybe if I go do this first, it'll work a little bit better. That was great. <laughs> Dead Rising Four doesn't have any of that because they just threw out the fucking timer. Uh, people think it's too hard. Oh, okay. You neutered your fucking game. Oh. Idiots. <laughs> Idiots. Yeah. And then, it's not a deal breaker, but it is irritating that they recast Frank West. Uh, I have a hunch I'm right about this. It would be even more irritating if I could confirm that the reason they did it is so they can get a Canadian voice actor so they can get a tax break as they were a Canadian <laughs> dev team. I, I believe that's it. I think that's the reason that they didn't uh, have Stephen Russell voice Garrett in the Thief reboot, because the devs were in Canada, and then get some kind of like tax break or something by by using an all by having it be an all Canadian production. So they had to find a Canadian really? actor. Really? Yeah. That would be shocking. Fuck you. I could I could be wrong. Yeah. For all I know, the original voice actor. Uh, JT Rolo is his name? I forget what his name is. I could be wrong, and maybe he's Canadian too. And there's right. entirely different reasoning behind the recast. But I got a, I got a bad feeling that's it. And it's irritating. Hmm. But it, it might be a fun game. I will still mourn the timer, though. I love that timer in Dead Rising. It's to me. To me, it's like it's like they gutted sixty percent of the game. It's just gone. Canadians ruin everything. I agree. We're going to skip a tip ahead to read it because this is still on topic. Laurie X says, please watch this three-minute video about Dead Rising 4. I'm sure Rich will like it. Wait until after the stream if you want. Okay. I'll check it out later. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to check out the game anyway. But I, my, my, my expectations are, are low. Like I said, Dead Rising is a game on a timer, in my opinion. Taking that out, you're, you're gutting the game. Trying to think of a, trying to think of a, an example, of a, a, an analogy. Of a game yeah, or? yeah. It's like uh, that Binding of Isaac. You know, I don't like that you have to earn the different power ups and build them up. We're just gonna have like a preset character that's got all the things installed, and you can never upgrade. <laughs> oh, okay. Why is this still as fun? Well, uh, yeah, so it's like maybe like, uh, yeah, oh, you know, well, you can choose your own build. <laughs> yeah. You know, which, yeah. which would still have part of the same enjoyment, but then it's like, oh, you don't understand what makes this game this game, do exactly. you? Exactly. Still have part of the same enjoyment. Right. And I think that's how I'm going to, I think that's how I'm going to feel about Dead Rising 4. Sure, sure. Like the hints of the game you love. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's not all there mm-hmm. for no good reason. Absolutely no good reason. Okay, Atomic Mousetrap says, I bought a Virtual Boy with my own money when it came out. I was 15. Uh I guess what I'm saying is that I don't feel guilty pirating Nintendo games. (laughs) Because he bought a Virtual Boy? (laughs) Bam! Hey. That's funny. That's funny and I like it. Slim Shabbat says, Hey, you guys are fans of roguelikes and Soul-style games. You might like Let It Die. 
It's a fantastic combination of the two set in an absurd, gory, post-apocalyptic Japan. And it's free, you fucks! And we can put that on the we'll try it list. Yep, absolutely. I'm leery of the it's free. Uh, yeah. You know. Did that generate bombs or did you lose bombs because of that? That generated bombs. Oh, okay. It's, it's just it, uh, explosive diarrhea. Yeah. It's just, you know, you poop out bombs uh, and they can hurt you. Okay. <clears throat> it did not take my bombs. Anonymous says, Jack. Yeah. I checked out the No Clip documentaries this afternoon and they were wonderful to watch. Right. Really high quality. You really were. Even I, who doesn't care much for games, was super impressed and subscribed to them. Oh, good. Yeah, it was, good. It was quality. What I saw was quality. Very, like, it's just good storytelling. You know, hey, these people wanted to make something. Like, they're Rocket League. How, how this rinky-dink team went from just like, we're the geeks who happen to know how to code in Unreal 3 or whatever, mm -hmm. to, to making just a fantastic game. What's, what's wrong with free? What's wrong with free is that I think sometimes free, free games means keep paying incrementally forever if you want to have a not frustrating experience. Isn't that usually how that translates? I think th there's two ways. Yeah. Either keep paying incrementally if you want to have a not frustrating experience, or we don't think this is worth anything. <laughs> <laughs> or you pay for hats, which I'm okay with. If it's the equivalent of you pay for well, hats. at one point you had to pay for TF2. I'm but. fine. But, you know, I th there are some games that are on my list that are just free-to-play games that I'm sure just someone's like, this is a joke, and it's not a real game. But... Fuck you, Gertie. Anonymous, I got your message. Great. He accidentally double tipped. Oh. Then he said, don't read the other tip because I double tipped. Oh, okay. I'm with you. I got gotcha. you. Ooh, placenta. Uh, great. Great. Oof. So how do you scroll on this newfangled Twitch? I think you can two finger scroll. Nope. Wait. Oh, wait. There it goes. There. Which you can't do in chatty, so it might be might be better. You might be able to also. Uh, yoink. Uh, uh, touch screen it. If that your thing. See, these are the nice comments. Hey, Rich, I was able to get XCOM Enemy Unknown for $2 and XCOM 2 for 20 Surprised by how much I love them. Thank you for the recommendation. I was glad when something like that happens. Yeah. And honestly, even if we hated something and they bought it because the way what we were just hating still sounded good to them, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that, too, you know. Because yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really not a complete asshole. Yeah. Not as much as it might seem. <laughs> <laughs> not as much as you're portrayed to be? You know, The Last Guardian looked beautiful, and the things you talked about not like, I didn't really bother you that much. I loved it. Oh, I'm glad. It did look beautiful. In gen just in general, Last Guardian. Rich, what is the artiest film that I actually like? Uh, Dark City? Oh, all right. Name me some other arty films. What's what's art like? What is arty? What what makes arty? Two thousand one. I've never I've never seen all of two thousand one. No. When I when I saw two thousand one, mm -hmm. I was a kid and I was just too young for it at the time. Yeah. I was like oh, I was boring. I love anything space. Right, but very slow. And that was a highly acclaimed film that took place in space. Yeah. yeah. And I was like oh, I was boring. Yeah. Yeah. I probably need to give it another chance someday, but. Uh, yeah, you do. You do. That's that's one of those you should really see. Kind, kind not, of a, not a complete asshole, just kind of an asshole. Well, yeah. 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 Uh, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, really. <laughs> you, know, you, know what that, you know what that just means? Huh. That means I'm fucking honest with people. Mm -hmm. And I'm not full of shit. 
Well, you know, you can be full of shit, but when I when I don't like something, yeah, it's not like oh, you know. Yeah, you're you're not you're not you never waver. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I'm. I like you guys too much to feed you bullshit. That's the thing. We're not. We're not. We're not here to to do. You know. We're not. We're, that's why we're not going to. Play, you know, always the hottest, newest game. We're not going to do the things where we play the horror games and scream like little children. No. We're, like, we're not going to insult your intelligence. Yeah. No. Do you like that thing that I really like? And, you know, my two options are I could lie or I could say, well, no, not really. Fuck, look at this enemy. Just a big poop. You, you couldn't do it convincingly if you tried. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> you know what? But that would just make me despicable then. Right. I'd rather be lied to. It's this leftover beefcake. Nope. Nope. Fuck. Oof. Fuck. What do we got here, King? Let's try one of these greed one runs. Can I do a greed run? Sure, you can. What's a greed? What is a greed run? Aren't you the fucking guy who's got hundreds of hours in this game? Yeah. And you don't know what a greed one run is. I don't. All right. Because that's a that's an afterbirth thing. Okay. So it's it's still relatively new to you. And afterbirth isn't out on the Vita. Well, I'm assuming it has something to do with money. And and spending money, maybe not being able to spend it. Maybe things cost twice as much. I, I don't know. You know what? Let's find out. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play. What's what's my opinion on David Lynch? My opinion is that you should ask Jay about David Lynch. Yeah, he's the one. Yeah. Jay could spend the entire night talking about David Lynch. Oh my god. I like his Return of the Jedi story. David Lynch's Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Was that David Lynch? That was David Lynch, right? It made me sick. He showed me a picture of something called a, a, a Wookiee, and it made me sick. <laughs> look, go to YouTube and look up David Lynch talking about directing Return of the Jedi. He took me to a, a restaurant. They only served salad. <laughs> I don't know if I remember this. It's a, it's a great video. It's a great, great video. <clears throat> what is this? Alright, okay. Oh, I should have spent that five on a key. If both of you guys could only play one game for the rest of your life, what would it be? You're looking at it. At this point, it's probably XCOM. I'll, I'll say two. It, it seems to have a lot of replayability. Okay. To me. Over uh, there, over XCOM and me and yeah, There are games I like, but I can't see myself playing them forever. I love I love the new Doom. Yeah. That's gonna. I, I can't play that for eternity and nothing else. Right. Yeah. That'll that'll get old fast. I might be able to do that with XCOM. Okay. What is it for you, Jack? Is, this, is, is it this? It. This is it. So far, I have played this for quite some time. All right. What do we need here? We need a key. Damn. 
relationship. Great. That's great. Rich, my coworker thinks XCOM is... Ah, God damn it. Chat scrolled. I can't read it. Let me find it in here. I want to read that. I want to I wanna comment on that. This is why I don't read uh, chat comments that much, because I freaking can't. Oh, f fucking touchpads are worthless. F fucking touchpads. The, the chat is scrolling naturally faster than I can scroll with a goddamn touchpad. Oh, I can't find it. And I can't get to it because it's scrolling. You're, you're saying too much, and that's wonderful. Uh, the person's comment, I'd read their name, but I can't. <laughs> it, it boiled down to uh, their boss think XCOM is boring because it's turn-based. Oh. How do I convince them otherwise? Uh -huh. You don't. You let them enjoy what they want to enjoy, and maybe it's not for them, and that's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's very wise, Rich. Very wise. Gobbledygook says, Rich, can you please say garbage day? No, I can't. Even though apparently I just did. You can't say garbage day? I cannot say garbage day. Oh, okay. Garbage day is the word I cannot say. Okay, cool. Garbage day. Hmm, interesting. Oh, fuck! What happens if I... I just looked up the first time in a while. What are you wearing, like a dress with a chicken nest on your head? Egg nest? A bird nest on your head? And a medical mask, and you're shooting out dodgeballs. Am I correct? Uh, no, I have a belt on. That's a belt. It looks like a little dress. Well, I'm, you know, I'm naked. It's a belt. I do have a medical mask on, and I'm shooting out giant blood tears. I, thought, I honestly thought they were dodgeballs. They're just giant blood tears. Okay. And that's not a nest? That, what is that, like a crown of thorns? That's a crown of thorns, yeah. All right. Why is it floating? Let's, you know, I, don't, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. There's so much about this game that I don't know. <laughs> about particularly this iteration of the game. Okay, so I think I figured it out. So, like, this is like an arena. Yeah. And I had to beat enough people, and that gave me money. And I think I get to go to the next. Oh, I do. I get to go to the next area now. Is so how, how is this different? Um, so far, there's no levels. Like, look, that's the whole map. Oh, okay. And I had to play that middle room like eight times. And uh, now I'm progressing, I think. This is different. This is new for me because, like I said, this is not on my Vita. Okay, I got the clot. That's great. Uh, we definitely want shielded tears. Yes, those are great. I don't have any money. Ooh, I wonder what that is. The shelf behind looks like it's going to collapse. Put some tapes on it. Which shelf looks like it's going to collapse? The, there's one over here that is warped, and I am worried it's going to collapse. Oh. That'll be just be a bridge we cross when we, when we get to it. Right. How do I feel about Brazil and Time Bandits? I haven't seen Brazil, but I, I remember loving Time Bandits. Time Bandits was good fun. I know I probably need to see Brazil. I need to see Brazil. Yeah? You haven't seen it either? I have not seen Brazil. Okay. Then we can both be wrong. I don't know if I've seen Time Bandits. Time Bandits is fun. Uh, time Bandits sounds really familiar. It's been way too long since I've seen it. Sure. That sounds like one that I have seen. It's a, it's a group of little people and a, a, a ten-year-old boy who go on adventures in time. Okay, I don't believe... I, I don't think I've seen it. And then they fight David Warner at the end. Uh, uh, it was good in pretty much everything he's ever been in. 
David Warner? Okay. I don't know names. You should know that about me. Uh, what's another thing David Warner has done? Uh, he was the v villain in the There Are Four Lights episode. He was that Cardassian. That doesn't mean anything to me. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm trying to blink on other things he's been in. Which is terrible. Sturm Daddy says, Thanks for your content, guys. Rich, have you tried XCOM Enemy Within with the Long War mod? It's honestly great to the point where I would never go back to playing without it. I have I have read about the changes they have made. I, I would love just to have the changes they made to the strategic layer. That all sounds great. I don't... I'm less confident about their tactical changes. I know they've expanded the roster to, like, 12 men at most, which seems like too damn many. Uh, the... The perk tree, it, it seems like they made it a kind of a convoluted large mess where every every tree is every every level has three choices and eh. I, th I think I think I like the more I think I would appreciate I, th I I don't think I would like their changes I think I'd prefer the more streamlined vanilla game uh, tactical game I, I wouldn't mind it if I could just separate out the strategic stuff. Did Terry Gilliam ruin Johnny Depp's career by introducing him to the quirky characters he played until recently? No! He made that fucking career. Johnny Depp's career is all based on those quirky characters. <laughs> Where would Johnny Depp be without the quirky character? He would just be the pretty boy from 21 Jump Street that nobody would remember. Yep. That's where Johnny Jep Depp would be without the quirky character. Yeah, without without itching that artistic side of him, he would be he would be nothing. It it gave his career twenty years longer than it would have had normally. David Warner was the heavy in Tron. Yeah, I was thinking that was somebody else, but that was David Warner. Buddy. That's something I always appreciated about Johnny Depp. He could have easily have coasted his whole career as the pretty boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. And rode that out until it naturally ended. Mm -hmm. He didn't. And you know what? I appreciate the hell out of him for that. Hmm. Well, there you go. Ah. I'm, I'm assuming most people don't even realize now that he started out as the teen heartthrob. In a TV series. In a TV series, yeah. yeah. I suppose, yeah, everyone just knows of, of him as the, as the quirky guy. guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Why are you giant? What power up is that? Uh, I got a, it was a pill that said one pill makes you larger. It seems bad. It seems like you're just a bigger target. Uh, I I think it's both good and bad where I'm a bigger target, but my tiers also seem to be bigger. Okay. So I can hit things easier and I can get hit easier. So. All right. Uh, probably pros and cons. Uh, I didn't really know what it did, so I took it because uh, that's what I do. I just take all the pills. Plus, I, I appreciate the White Rabbit reference. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, are, you, are your tears like shields right now? They are. That's and that seems very useful. It's a big thing. Incredibly useful. So like I can't get hit, which is great. I'm also like you know I'm having trouble hitting them. What? Actually, your target stays the same when you are larger. 
Oh, there you go. Well, uh, there you go. What do I, I don't want that helmet. That just gives me secret rooms. I want... I want new... The tears don't get bigger. Oh, well then. All right. There you go. Change. Change. Oh, fuck! What makes you larger? Let's see what... Let's see... Let's get weird with it. Look at that. Look at that shit. Uh. Oh, so that's a black heart, not an empty heart. Yeah. I don't want shoes either. Or do I want shoes? That's just more range. I don't need more range. Do I want any of this shit, Rich? Maybe you don't. Uh, maybe I don't. You know what? You're right. Let's fight some bosses. What are we doing? What are we doing? Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. I don't quite understand this. Oh, fuck. I got caught on a... My, my giant size made me get caught on something. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, fuck this guy. I hate this guy. Oh, oh, that's... Oh, my blocking tears. God, I love that. Shielded tears are great. Nope, nope, nope. Don't get stuck. Uh... I don't quite understand this game mode yet. Every time a new enemy comes, that you you get more money. Yeah, which is great. So the more waves you kill, the more money you get. The more things you can buy. I suppose. That's neat. Uh, I'm assuming how much money I spend also like changes something about greed. Greed is the final boss in this, mm -hmm. and so I'm guessing Ooh. that uh. That also changes like how much, uh, how hard he is at the end. Maybe if I spend too much money, he's like really difficult. I, I, I don't know. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ooh, a secret thing. Oh, I want to beat them now. I mean, I obviously wanted to beat them the whole time, but I really want to beat them now. Oh, That's not looking good. I noticed that. Really not looking good. It would just help if I could beat one of them, you know? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Die. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nope. I can't believe I did that. What the fuck is that? That's chest. I've never seen that chest before. Can I open those? Presumably. Right. You have two keys. Well, you got her now. Not oh. the worst. It relocked. Interesting. Oh, hello. Weird. Oh. Can I just keep opening this? I don't have any idea. I'm so freaked out. Is it a glitch? <laughs> I don't know. You finally hit the bottom. I'm okay with that. All right. Great. Ooh, that's right. We got a secret thing. Oh, I have all the monies now, which is great. And more monies. Alright, let's go buy some shit. Oh yeah, none of that shit's good. Alright, let's go to the next level. Oh wait, no, keys. Do you have any keys? I want keys. You do have keys. And you White chest, close and reopen a random number of times. Oh, well, there you go. I want these too. Another key because I have tons of money. Ooh, buy more hearts if you can. Oh, you can't you? You gotta look. Oh, up. shit, yeah, you can. Oh, great. Great. All right. Great, I think. Oh, hello. 
Jack's doing great. I think I think I'm doing great. I have I have no idea how I'm doing as I've never played this mode before. Why is one heart two colored? That's a white heart, and as you see right now, it now uh, because I carried that two heart over to the next level, I get um. White heart gave him another heart. Gave me another heart container. Ooh, look at that thing. I wonder what that thing does. Well, let's find out. What? 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 You charge your battery. What do you, what do you want? Now it's got soul hearts there. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. All right, great. Uh, a box of spiders. That's what we want. We want a box of spiders. We definitely want matchbook. Shit. All right. All right. We're doing great, I think. The shop restocks all items! Exclamation point, exclamation point, yeah. exclamation point. I noticed that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's let's fucking let's do this. Let's keep on keeping on. Let's keep on. Uh, let's keep on fighting the good fight. I got the recharge baby apparently, uh, and the recharge baby uh, randomly gives me more batteries, and I have the box of. Uh... Oh, for, oh my fucking god, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, I have the 48 hour energy too. Oh God, I'm such a dummy. Such a dummy, Rich. I don't know what's going on. It's a little nuts. Oh fuck, hell, fucking hell. Shoot, shoot the things. I'm shooting the things. Shoot them better. Okay. Shoot the things better. You're right, you're right. You're right, I gotta shoot the things be Oh fuck. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Shoot the things better. Oh, fuck. This is tough. I want more of these. <laughs> there we go. All right, great. Should save you money to buy other things, Jack. Apparently, you know, I don't know what's happening sometimes. So are they like rounds or something? I, I, I don't, I just don't know. I would like to tell you the answer to that question. Remember, you're blocking tears, blocking, blocking tears, tears, blocking tears. tears. I, know, I know. There's just there's also not a lot of room to maneuver, and that makes it a little more difficult. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay. That. Okay. So that's that. Buy more permanent items, says the chat. Range up. That doesn't help. Oh, this one I think helps me. Hello, that's great. Dinner. Oh, 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 shit. Oh. Great. That did something. <laughs> that did a lot of stuff. That's great. You can also go through an 11th round to unlock the devil slash angel room. Yes, and I've been doing that. He's been doing that, chat. I've been, I've been doing that, but thank you. I come back for that uh, for that picture and get three more cents. I think I can get three more cents. Oh, you again? Gosh, darn you! Ah! Ah! I don't. I'm fucking. I don't like you. I, you don't run into them at every possible opportunity. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll be honest. I've been playing him wrong. <laughs> This whole time I've been playing this enemy wrong. And great. Nope. Nope. All right. Great. Fucking die. Okay, great. We did it. All right, now I want that. I want you. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, I want Jesus juice. I need more money. How did you go through all of that money? Shit. Oh, well, yeah, I bought shit. How did he do that? I bought shit. Okay, here we go. Ah! Oh, oh, you. Oh, you. Get right out of town. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you! There we go, there we go, okay. Don't 
Don't forget about my box of spiders. Get them, spiders! Come here. Come here. Fight me. Fight me in real life. So you got a weak spot on his back? Yeah. But my tears don't move incredibly fast. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Do you do damage to him normally anyway? No. Only in the back. Only in the back. Let's see. Not, nothing in the front. There we go. Skip, dip, dip, dip. Oh, oh, that's it. What? How did that happen? Skip, bop, bop. Is it possible to not be able to defeat him? Uh, no, it just takes a while. Like, I only have like two more hits. I need to get him. Fuck you. Like, look how low his health is. And he's got a health at the, at the bottom. Oh, oh, I see. God, yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck, man. I'm very sorry. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. What? What? So it seems like you're really strong against anything shooty. Yeah, because of the shield tears. Yeah. Um. Oh shit. Anything good? Flies. I so, remember the one flies. So the head is flies, which is, uh, but I already have the Sp box of spiders. Right. But the flies will recharge more, so I want that. Here's the question. This paw yeah. will cost me one heart, and then at any point I can eat a heart and gain a couple soul hearts, non-regenerable hearts. The, this is your call. I can't make a call like this. You're the Isaac man. What's the book do? I don't remember. Probably not nothing good. Yes, yes, yes. Get the paw. Nope. Too too late. I've already not gotten the paw. He can't go back? Can't go back. I've already not gotten the paw. I want that Jesus juice. That's not enough money. How much is the Jesus juice? Fifteen cents. Can you, I bomb you? You need you need some more rounds? I cannot what did, that, what did that do? Now, that that changed cha everything, didn't it? That just changed all the items. It's so, so much for your Jesus juice. Oh, hello, but you're cheaper now. All right, well, shit. Whatever. All right, moving on. Moving on. Did you go in the yellow door? Yeah. I didn't see you go in the, the yellow door. At the start of the, the, sure? start of the thing, I went in the Are you door. sure? I, uh, the one thing I know about Isaac is you always go in the yellow door. You always go in the yellow door. I started it by going in the yellow door. As you'll see on this one, I'm going to go in the yellow door right away. What was that? Oh, oh, well, this could suck. Or be great. This you, could suck. Do you have to do it? I have to do what? The charge? Yeah. That's bad. That's huh? considerably bad. But look. Blah. Yeah. That's going to block everything that comes my way. And barrage them in a barrage. Look at that. Go beyond the green door. Go beyond the green door. What? Look for the secret room. Okay. They didn't look. They didn't. Well, you, you, you might have missed something. I probably missed something. All right. Let's see how. Let's see how bad my decision for getting Monstro's lung was. Ah. Very bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. No, it's going to be fine. It's like a shotgun, Rich. Look at this. Blah. Ah, fuck. Just got to move. Just got to move. Just got to move. Fucking vomit ghosts. Get right out of town. Ha! Uh, oh, a spider? You dick. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Also, fuck you. Also, fuck you. Whew. 
Whew, I made it. I made it. I made it. I have 18 cents. I don't think that... Oh, oh, wait. I think I want this? I don't fucking know. Yes. Giant spiders and flies. I wanted that. I did want that. And I want you. Okay, great. All right, great. So now my flies are more powerful. Yeah. Oh, you're in. You suck. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, look at that. Three shots down. Seems less good against the mobs of little guys. Yeah, yeah. But that's okay. We got we got bigger fish to fry. Come here. Oh, you dick. So interesting to watch. <laughs> He's got the things. He's doing all this stuff. He's doing all the things and stuff. Fuck. Bombs everywhere. Fuck. This, this sucks. This we're not happy about. This is... What? This is also an enemy I'm not terribly familiar with. This is right. new to Afterbirth, so... Yes, all right, did it. Great, did it. Oh, good. We'll just take that. Great. Great. We're doing great. We're doing great. Um, we're doing great, maybe. It's also very possible that we're not doing great. That's a, another real I, I possibility. Got, I got no fucking idea. Right? Neither, neither do I, Rich. What's on the other side of that pain door? That red squiggly uh, goop? <clears throat> stuff. Treasure. But it'll hurt me. Hmm. So, uh, usually it's not like really good treasure. All right, and here we go. Here we go. We're making it. This is my first time doing a greed run, by the way, and I'm I'm this this is pretty far, I think. So, uh, you <laughs> well, know. you do play this a lot. I play I do I play Isaac a lot, right? So, I'm just saying. So I just know that you, not only are you giant, but your flies are also giant. Though. Yes. There's a theme. Apparently. There's a clear theme. We're doing something. We are doing something here. All right, let's. How did that? Why did that hurt me? I don't fucking know. Well, I don't know why that hurt me. What? You did good. I don't know if I did. Actually, I think I might. Oh. What? I think I keep accidentally stepping on the off switch, which uh. has spikes on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't see that coming. What was that? What that? Spider, I think. Spider. Oh, Jesus Christ. I have not fought these enemies either. Come, come, come. Alright, we're doing great. We're doing great. We're doing great. I don't know what just happened, but can we make that happen again? Fuck, 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 fuck. Blah. And blah. Whew. Doing great. Doing great. Everybody, we're doing great. Um, I think I want this. Oh, item martyr. No, I didn't want that. Fuck. Whatever. Whatever. Great. Let's keep moving. What's item martyr do? <clears throat> what does item martyr do? I think this is the one where if I get hit, it just gives me a random item. Yeah. Which could be good, but I wanted the one that recharged my flies. Ah. Well. Which I guess it could be this one. I forget. I often forget like what each individual item does. It's too much shit. There's a lot of shit happening on screen. 
Uh, you just have to kind of get get used to that, you know. And right now it's the little enemies that'll kill me. It's these little fucking spiders yeah. that seem to be getting me. Get. Ah! Oh shit! Red poop. Red poop. Does that, that go away when he's dead? Or no, he... no, it sticks around, and it's gonna kill me. Get out! Get fuck it right, right the fuck out of town. Great. 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 Ah, oh, fuck. Red poop. Uh, I'm not gonna do the devil room this time. Why not? Uh, because I gotta deal with that red poop, and I don't want to deal with the red poop. Can't you shoot it? Huh? Can't you shoot it? Yeah, but then it comes back. You shoot it and go in the room. Huh? Shoot it and go in the room. Well, no, I gotta fight another enemy if I want to go in the devil room. Oh. So I don't want to deal with that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check out that greed, see what he's all about, and all right. uh, see if I can uh, see if I can do something here. All right, let's let's get let's get nuts, people. Let's get nuts. Here we are. Greed. G greed. Ultra greed. Look at that. Ultra greed. We're here. Oh. Okay. Whoop. What? Okay. Ultra Greed, here we go. Look at this guy. Cool. What? Yeah, this is cool. Is he bigger than normal? Uh, I don't know if he's bigger than normal or if that's his normal size. That I've never fought Greed before. Oh, okay. This is my so, first time so fighting Greed. He's new to this one. Yeah. I'm not doing terribly well. I've been hit a lot. The, the good thing is uh, this is the one that uh, that refills my... I don't know if that's a good thing, but it, it does refill my... Ideally. Every time I... Is that hurting him? Yes. Yes, it is. I think it's spawning guys. Oh, shit, it is! Fucking hell. Fucking fuck hell. Blah! I think I gotta get rid of these coins. Yep, yep, that gives him power. That gives him power. The coins give him power. Oh, nope, that spawns, guys. Fucking. Okay. Not gonna win. Not gonna win. Which is fair, you know, like, you gotta learn. Right. Don't give up yet, Jack! Don't give up! Oh, God, give up! <laughs> give up! Yeah, Monstro's lung, not not great for uh, for this. The barf lung here? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Not the greatest. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get rid of these keys while I can't. Oh. Whew. Well, that was fun. Almost, Jack. That was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. That was different. Oh, I got sweaty palms now, though. Oh. All right. I think I forgot to turn on uh, Jenny, uh, the watcher. I turned it on. You turned it on? You're a good man, Jack. I turned it You're on. You're a good right. man. I, I try. Oh, well, that was great. We, we oh. unlocked some shit. Let me get out of this here. Hold on. Whew. Ultra Greed is a fucker. He is a fucker. That was that was that was new. That was a new experience for me. But man, that was neat. Hmm. Hmm. I like his big coin bombs. Those are neat. That was a really good run, though. Nice play, Jackson. Oh, hey, thanks.
Thanks, everyone. Rabid Co Wolf. Thanks, Rabid Co Wolf. Uh, now is the point in the stream in which we thank all of the people who have subscribed to us during the stream. Um, much like Captain James May. Cyber Cat! Mario Mario 42 for 30 fucking months in a row. Mario Mario says, holy shit, 30, I've been subbed more than 10% of my life. Love you, frauds. Mr. Shy Smile, 26 fucking months in a row. MC Lucas, 30 fucking months in a row. MC Lucas says, late stream, last, last stream ever? Well, 30 months was a good run. No one at all, says Er Digger Blue. Svengoli says hi. That's a penny. Seven of Borgnine says I love food. I love to put it in my face. <laughs> Fresno Bob says, three month anniversary, happy winter solstice, you hack frauds. Encephalopathetic! Yes. I had to sound that one out in my head. Yeah, yeah. Says, three fraudulent months. Solid KGB. Kari Farkas says, Jack, I have one grievance. General Ohohoy. Have a great how oh hoy hoy. Oh let me get, let me get the Luke some. Oh, oh. oh hoy hoy. Have a great holiday, guys. He has one general. He has one grievance. One grievance. General. general, general grievance. I, I I get it now. I get it. Vice versa man says add a message to the streamer. Wait, how do I Milanodens and Milanodens 87 says Love the show. That's Mila, not Mila. That's, a, that's, that's a proper Mila. name. Mila. Yeah. Mila Noddens. 87. Said it right that time. I feel feel like I've redeemed myself. It's smooth. You, that, was a smooth that was a quick save. <laughs> smooth and quick save. <laughs> AJ Pimpsall says thanks again for the best <laughs> podcast to play Rocket League to. <laughs> Poke Alex in the eye says three fucking and fraudulent Months in a row. People, people try to sneak. Yeah, they try to fake the fucking. Never fake the fucking. Striker one one two one nineteen months in a row. I love you, Krusty. Articus Rex says, "Here's to terribly drawn CGI faces." Oh, it's so true. Understatement of the fucking year. Jesus, that was terrible. No fear, no envy, 22 fucking months in a row. Blavod <laughs> says, Woo! Three months of Amazon giving you guys some of the money I give them. <laughs> oh, gee, nasty Jash. Shadam Freida, 13 months in a row, says, Be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. Dr. Soyanese, 20 fucking months in a row. 20 goddamn motherfucking cock-sucking, ass-licking, titty-biting, nipple-twisting, ball-slapping, dick-swinging months in a row. Merry Christmas, and may the love of Jesus be in your hearts. That was excellent, Dr. Soyanese. Thank you. Hap 78, 14 months in a row. XX Devastator. Fail spin. Just this guy you know, 24 fucking months in a row. Oh shit, my subscription is now a toddler. <laughs> no more poopy diapers for you, just this guy you know. Jigglelag35 says, well, I got Twitch Prime free a for a year. So here's a free year of subscribing to some hack frauds. We'll Thank take you. it. Thanks, Thank you. Zangster. Mr. Glitch, 24. Five fucking months in a row, says Merry Richmas and a Jackie New Year. I get it. I get it. Metavelevan. 
Medavelvin. Medavelvin says, do you guys like sushi? I'm allergic to seafood. I love it. Time Foam Bathray. That's a strange one. Sari Chen. It's the end of the stream. A reminder to watch the thing I sent you. <laughs> if you already have, never mind. Merry Xmas. Chernobyl Kinsman. 20 fucking months in a row. Thanks for 20 fucking months of entertainment. Have a great Christmas and a happy new year. Love you guys. XX. Crocodile Brain. 26 fucking months in a row. Lick my love bits. The Ark Matter. That's it. The Ark Matter. The Ark Matter? Yeah. Okay. The Ark Matter. 17 months in a row. Emerged Lickfruk. Er, that's Ermagerd Lerfruk Merkirk. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Lavender Night! Nope. What? Lavender Dark Night! There you go. Lavender Dark Night. I get it. Tusi. <laughs> Jux test. Chiboleth. Jaros Crust says, Yay, I'm done with teaching for the semester and can finally enjoy a live stream. Welcome, Jaros Crust. Zach is whack. Merry Christmas, you fuckos. Thanks for all the hard work. Oz Mike. 24 fucking months in a row says hey it's my second year of continuous anniversary thanks for all the fun you guys looking forward to more thank you jeff <clears throat> five three three five no jeff five three 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 <laughs> sloshed from ducktails 26 fucking months in a row thanks for keeping me sane I don't know where that five came from. It's, it's fine. It's funny. It's fine. It's okay, funny. Great. Great. Um, L. L. Alex. Alex. Slow. Alex. Slow. That's what it is. It's Alex. Slow. The Duke of Prune says, I forgot to cancel my subscription. No. No. Top Ramens. 22 fucking months in a row. Top Ramen says, when will the half in the bag for Rogue One start filming? Well, Two days ago. Oh. <laughs> My name is Tate! 18 months in a row! I was going to get I was get silly with it. What were you going to say? What were you going to do? Huh? What were you going to do? I was going to say, uh, you guys were going to do a little more in-depth analysis on it. Uh, so there are some sets that needed to be built. So I think, <laughs> I think you're going to watch the movie again tomorrow and maybe film the next week or so. Okay. <laughs> I was going to go a different direction with it. Uh, evil Lord <coughs> David says, Hey guys, David here. For two months in a row, I sincerely hope 2017 is kind to you and your loved ones. Skusks has resubscribed for 31 fucking months in a row. Slap nuts, 73. Dr. Gunter Hunterhanker, 15 months. Months in a row, says, two weeks ago was my 12th month anniversary. Twitch counts like Star Wars. Four, five, six, one, two, three, seven, three, nine, eight, three, five, nine, and ten. <clears throat> <laughs> Tirak the Ancient, 12 months in a row. Zomb! Despot Will. Steve the Ghost, says... Almost died three times on the way home. Fuck snow. And hi. It's yeah. very dangerous out there. Yeah, fuck slowly. that snow. Go fuck slowly. that snow. Lego face. G shots. 27 fucking months in a row. Says, Thanks for all the streams. I got a binding of Isaac because of you guys. You can conquer greed mode, Jack. I know you can. I can well, do it. Thank he, you. He couldn't. He couldn't. I, mean, I didn't. I he didn't, couldn't and didn't. But I can. That's the, okay. That's the important That's fair. Thing. He didn't but can. But I didn't. But he, he but definitely thank, thank did Thank you for not. reminding me about that. <coughs> Longshanks, 22 fucking months in a row. Longshanks 1 says thanks for all the content. Packet Racket Gaming. Chet the Anteater. 
Atomic Mousetrap! Double Neg. Dream Sign. Usury Name 26 fucking months in a row. Physics Fiend. Too much Nuki. Oh my god. I almost forgot to share this. Dr. Smoke Tree says, looks like I'm a bit late. Quinsomniac ends us with the lulls. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. It's true, we really do. We really do, and, and this being my last stream of the year, Happy New Year to all of you, and Merry Christmas. We won't do anything. I'll, I'll, I'll be doing a solo on Wednesday. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying and that for me. Yeah, like, yeah. You'll be here. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm just letting, letting the people know. I just, letting the people know. I just, I just wanted to do... You gotta a, get the word I out. I wanted to do a sincere ending instead of, like, the funny ending that we usually do, where it's like, you know, we, we end it in kind of on a... It's, obvi it's so obvious. It's what? coming. But the ending's coming. It's you obvious. I, it's, it's just, you gotta set up. There's, there's no... You gotta pull the rug out from under them, but... I want you to can't, do... You can't point to the rug before you do it. You say, here, look at that rug, and then you yank.